In 1863, East Tennessee was in the grip of a civil war that had become all too personal. The great armies of the war were fighting elsewhere, nameless, faceless rows of blue and gray, clashing on remote fields of horror. But here in our region, the war was being waged in backyards by neighbors and even families who had worked together and worshiped together. Now they were sworn enemies, enemies with familiar faces. It is in such desperate times that heroes do emerge. Stonewall Jackson, Ulysses S. Grant, Robert E. Lee are familiar names to us now. But in East Tennessee during the Civil War, the name of Daniel Ellis would become known throughout the land. He was a captain in the Federal Army, but he rarely served with his regiment. Daniel Ellis chose a much riskier career. When the Confederates were in power in Upper East Tennessee, Daniel Ellis helped Union men escape their troubled region and join the Federal forces. He was a rallying force. He carried the mail and hope between the Union lines, those men who had escaped, and their families. He would bring money and mail messages back to those people. On one of his many trips between enemy lines, Ellis came upon two women from Washington County. They were in search of food for their small children. They had traveled 15 miles by foot to get it. Ellis gave them what money he had, and they were very grateful for it. Not a bold, heroic deed, but a compassionate one, one of many that endeared him to his home folks. Ellis was a hero to his fellow Unionists, but to the Confederates, he was a marked man. There's another case where he hid in a hollow log, I guess up on Clinch Mountain, and the Confederates came in and actually sat on the log in which he was hiding. Uh, narrow escape after narrow escape. One of his greatest escapes took place while he was visiting his home in Carter County. During this visit, Ellis and his friend Elbert Treadway were surprised by a platoon of Confederate infantry. Take down, Ellis! Outnumbered 10 to 1, they found themselves pinned down in dense woods. The rebel fire was drawing closer. Elbert Treadway seized the moment he shouted battle orders to an imaginary column of men. Come on, man, move it up, move it up. Over there. Soon the dense woods were ringing with the sound of 50 men. The Confederates fell right into their trap. Run for it, boys, there's too many of them. Fall back, fall back. Daniel Ellis had defeated death once more. It is said that Daniel Ellis helped 10,000 Union men escape to join the Federal Army. For safety, he chose to work alone, traveling thousands of miles on foot. In the course of the war, he received no pay for his efforts, and his home was destroyed by the Confederates. Among the great heroes of the Civil War, a little-known man named Daniel Ellis ranks at the top of the list.